Okay, so on to the next track, Sash Performance in Gaza's Thorn and Petal Mondays. Man, this is an extended series for those of you who are only joining us now. It's an extended series that will only happen on Monday. Um, for those of you who don't know why these series come about, it's because people actually request me um, outside of any booking form or whatever else. This is purely custom where people actually have a playlist that they would want me to react to and I give them a special cost for a special series. And this is one of them. We've got two other ones that are running that are on a Friday for Sammy and another one is for Sonia on a Saturday. Um, and then Monday is now uh, Gaza. This is actually shorter than Sammy's and Sonia's one. So this will be uh, finished a lot quicker. But now that the HOHs are completely finished, um, that's great because it gives me uh, time to do a whole bunch of other things as well as letting you know about my next series that is coming which is called Ellie Anthems just I wasn't going to tell you the name but I'll put it out there. it's called Ellie Anthems it's absolutely amazing right it's a completely limited edition unique series that has never been done before you guys will absolutely love it but there's only 10 booking slots available and once it's booked it's booked I'm not and it's a once off we're not doing this one again um, this is literally a once off so no one's be after this we're going back to the normal stuff but this is going to be it's a lot of work in this series that I'm dropping I'll give you all of that information still this week let's uh, rock and roll man dual sponge we're starting with Ennio Morricone never heard of this and dual sponge is from well my neck of the woods one of my neck of the woods right my homeland right she's a uh, Portuguese fado singer she's beautiful absolutely fantastic her voice is unbelievable just a very talented woman. Um, never heard of Ennio Morricone, and this is called Once Upon a Time in the West. Never heard of this. This is completely new to me. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we got. I've got a movie as well. Oh, this is, might actually have been for a movie. She's singing in English. Ooh. Her voice is absolutely beautiful, but I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is the very first time I've ever heard Dolce Punch, uh, Punch singing in English. And why does she sound so much like Celine Dion in this one? She literally say if I had to close my eyes and not know, or, or, and not know. Actually, most people if they had to close their eyes and not know the name of the actual artist, they would say, "Oh no, that's Celine Dion." Voice man, you gotta love the old style of filming because they used to do a lot of sort of very tight shots and a lot of like sort of punch-ins <laughs> so it's literally it's her him her him her him <laughs> they kept trying to really create some level of intensity but it's like okay you don't have to do it that long do you know what i mean but listen i mean they used to make some cracking movies back in the day specifically in the 70s the 70s was a great time for artistry music and movies alike but uh yeah i mean el dos Ponch's voice is absolutely beautiful the control in her voice is unbelievable she never fails let's go
Where's that looking game again? He looks, she looks. Stay on her for a while. He looks. <laughs> she looks again. entirely sure that this uh, song is for this particular movie. I'm not entirely sure if um, um, I, I can't imagine this song being for this movie. I think it's literally just uh, added on. This looks like uh, what's it mov uh, movie? Maybe it is that movie Once Upon a Time in the West. I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, carry on. Your strength has This whole scene is literally just intense looking. <laughs> That's all this entire scene is. Let's go. My heart, your love in my heart. Song is absolutely beautiful though. I'm not entirely sure if that song was in there, but it seems too old for it. I think it's obviously just layered on. Dual Sponge wasn't around that time. <laughs> well, at least not in a professional in a professional sense. But it's a beautiful song, I must be honest. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it literally sounds like Celine Dion to me, right? But her vocals and her control is crazy. I've never heard her sing in English. So I'm glad you brought this uh, to me. Um, beautiful, man. I actually really like that. I like the fact that we actually started with two really beautiful pieces of music. Let's uh, move on to the next one, please. <laughs> 